Welcome to the following presentation of the Dozen Trivia by Barstool Sports. Is Carl. it Crime Dog? Fred and Grant? Jesus, how in the hell? The winners of the Dozen yes. are turning into big screaming hunters. The movie's called Get And that is of the Dozen That is correct. 14 13. Bendings, which stick for life. Ponies pulling up. All right, it's the Dozen Match 76 of Season 4 of the Dozen Match. 412 overall. Well, that's a weird noise. What was that strange noise? Uh, Glenny Balls, MVP candidate in an Uber on the way back to his hotel right now. <laughs> it's gonna be... My apologies. We, we had a guest and he was an hour late. So Yeah, no, it's, that's your job. It is what it is. Glenny, do you not have, do you not have headphones in? I didn't anticipate me doing this. In the Uber. But, uh, uh, but I say that as Glenny Balls, uh, leading scorer in the league for the dozen uh, in Uptown Balls. Tommy Smokes also top five in scoring. Uh, Glenny is ahead of Kirk by .02 points oh per match. Oh, my God. Right that's now. a lot of pressure. <laughs> um, so wow. it is going to be very close. Kirk and Glenny right now are in line to become the first people to ever average over nine points a match in the league. Uh, feels so we'll good. See, no I pressure. You, everyone thinks I'm dumb. I just want to make people know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Jeff, I mean, uh, there's a story about uh, Lawrence Taylor showing up late to practice and, and Bill Belichick going to Parcells and being like, yeah, Lawrence is a little bit late. And Parcells is like, well, why'd you start the meeting then? Why'd you wait for him? Balls is your Lawrence Taylor. <laughs> Gotta wait till he gets back on the hotel. Classically, you want to get compared to is Lawrence Taylor. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. On the yeah. field. What do you mean? On the field. <laughs> no similarities um, off. Like I said, Tommy also top five score. Tommy officially in the top five. Congrats, Tommy. Uh, All star match. All star week coming up in a few weeks. Uh, officially a week from this next Tuesday. So uh, the uh, 7th of May it will begin. Um, let me make sure I pray. Yeah, 7th of May, and that will be the 80s versus 90, 80s and 90s battle. Brandon and Kirk teaming up against Frank the Tank and Clemmer in all 80s and 90s trivia. Then on Wednesday night, uh, we will see uh, KB taking on Will Compton, and Will will have the ability to Google every single question. Um, we'll see who can come out on top of that one. I think probably the money's on KB. Uh, and then the Booze Ponies take on the fan team that we did from our contest during Black Friday, Saturday, Monday. And then that following Sunday is our fourth annual All-Star game. Uh, Uptown Ball, 7-2-1, and one, rank number four. Smokin, eight, though the difference between eight and five is very small. 4-3-1, and one, coming off a loss, but playing... I mean, it's, it's been great since since the debacle, Mincy. Since the Sopranos debacle, despite that trade, um, it's been pretty good with Mincy and Ken Jack. Titus, you got to be pretty happy. Yeah, I mean, if, if Glennie Balls is there, Lawrence Taylor, I would say Mincy is our OJ, OJ Simpson. <laughs> we just hand the ball to him, let him rack up 2,000 yards for us. Uh, just a hell of a <laughs> hell of a performer, this, this Ken Mince is. So, yeah. Uh, been working out great for us. We love having Mincy back on the team. And I promise you, and, uh, we're excited. Uh, if he freezes at any point, the picture we use will be the one of him. Was in high school or college? I forget. College. Oh, I haven't saved. The college. Yeah, we'll use the college photo. If he freezes at any point today, we will use the college photo yeah. uh, in got there. Uh, got started, yeah. It was so viral. It's unbelievable. <laughs> 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 that's it's unbelievable the progress that's been made it's in an incredible haircut it, it really is. it's it's the most southern perfect haircut uh, combined though 11 5 and 2 these two teams two of the better teams in the league this season uptown ball is still chasing potentially a buy here uh so we'll see a tournament coming up soon it's crazy how close it is again we looked at the schedule yesterday uh, we were talking to to the yak had their close win the other night and asked them if they wanted to take on. We only like four weeks left after All Star Week, um, and then the tournament. Both these teams will be in Chicago live. The tournament will be fully live this year uh, in the office, and then the Final Four and championship will be at the Riviera in Chicago on the twentieth of June. Here we go. Twenty four questions, twelve rounds of trivia. Twenty fifth being the bonus round. Uh, former champs right here, Uptown Balls from season two. Uh, three lifelines, double penny category you want, except for round 10. That's in each category round already worth two points. And then you also have your call a friend 
and your double sip lifeline. Uh, you can pair a double sip and a call a friend together, but you cannot use those on anything worth two points. So you can't use a call a friend or a double sip on something you've doubled up or round 10 in each category round. Smokin, you're up first every time. Uptown Balls, you're up second. Titus Final Answer Person and Smitty Final Answer Person for Uptown Balls. All right, round one. Round one, college football. College football. Anyone want to double college football? Mm, mm, mm. Here we go. No. No double. For Smokin, 35 seconds. This Iowa tight end caught 19 TDs from 2016 through 2018 before becoming a 2019 first round pick to an AFC West team. 35 seconds. Huh. Uh, so many Iowa tight ends. He's on the Raiders. It's a Raiders tight end. Is it a. Uh, who's that guy they just sent to. Um, they sent him to New Orleans. Who's that guy that you got recently? Uh, that's answered? not him because he went to LSU. Okay. Um, okay. So it's Raiders. Oh, God. Raiders, t- it's not Jared. It's, no. a- it's AFC West. Mm hmm. I'll give you a little extra I, second because the question was. I, we might want to call someone on this because somebody will know it, but uh, I know. All right, let's call. Let's use phone a friend. Let's use phone a friend. Call a friend. Call a friend. Who are you going to call off the top here? You want to call Brandon? I think it'd be funny. Yeah. You All you right. Definitely I'll, do the I'll, call for this. I'll, I'll call Brandon. Are you sure Hold on, I lost the question, Jeff. Yeah, I'm going to pull it back up. I just needed to center it because it was all, Are you <laughs> it sure was it was all off to the side. I'm not sure it's the Raiders. It was, Raiders that was just a... It's Raiders, uh, Chiefs, Chargers. It's Raiders, Broncos, Chiefs. It definitely wasn't... I don't think it was... Yeah, but it, feel, it, felt, it felt to me like it was Raiders. Should I call Brandon now? Can I wait for the question to get back up so I can... Yep. I know what I'm reading to him. There've been so many Iowa tight ends. I don't know. I was I was maybe about the there NFC North. The NFC. All right. And it wasn't the Chargers. It had to be Raiders or Broncos. That don't no. Dozen. Right. Dozen question. Uh, Iowa tight end caught 19 touchdowns from 2016 to 2018. Became a 2019 first round pick to an AFC West team. Timer begins. No yeah, fan. Yeah. Broncos. Yep. Is that, yeah, that right? Yep. That feels right. Is he Iowa? Yeah, TJ Hawkinson or TJ Hawkinson. Tell that idiot to shut up. Mincy, shut up, he says. Uh TJ Hawkinson no or Noah Fant? No offense. It's Noah Fant. Love you, Brandon. Thank you. You want Brandon wants to hear the ding. It's Noah Fant, final answer. That's right. That is a ding. That's correct. Great phone a friend off there the top. Bye, Brandon. Other side to make it one to one. Didn't know he was Iowa. This Penn State tight end caught 16 TDs from 2018 through 2020 before becoming a 2021 second round pick to an AFC North team. All right, let's think. Well, it's, it's not Gasicki. Nope. Balls will have to unmute himself. Browns. I don't know why. Bengals have Ravens. Uh, oh my God, how do I not know this? Oh my God. Browns, Bengals, Ravens, Steelers. Oh, could it be Pat Fryer? Me? Oh, Steelers. It's Pat Fryer. Yeah. It's Pat Fryer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pat Fryer. Pat Fryer. Fine. 1-1. Next category is celebrity mashup. Anybody want to double? Two very good mashup teams. Uh, we want to save for college basketball or double this one? I'd say. Uh, Mincy, are you good at these? We've had such mixed success with this, I feel like, right? <laughs> Let's save it for college basketball. He didn't bite this time. Uh, here we go. He's on, to me, he's on to me, Jeff. He's on to me. <laughs> Picked up on the bit. I actually thought about it earlier. I'm like, is he going to bite again? Here we go. Celebrity mashup. This is for Smokin. Name the two celebrities. Oh, that's uh, Chloe Grace. What's her name? Yeah. Yeah, but the outside is what I'm struggling with. It's a weird jaw and ear combo. Is that like John Cusack? Uh, I weirdly thought it was like Tarantino for a split second. Tarantino, I thought too, yeah. Because that big-ass chin, but... Yeah, five. You want to go Tarantino? That's, that's all I got. 
Yeah, we'll go Tarantino and Chloe, Grace. What's her last name? Moritz, yeah. Moritz, final answer. Is it? Is there any chance that's Robert Downey Jr.? I think it's Tarantino. I don't think that's Chloe Grace Moretz. I think that is Chloe Grace Moretz. <laughs> is that Rachel McAdams? No, I'm pretty positive that's Chloe Grace Moretz. So should we go Chloe Grace? Is that maybe, is that maybe Matt Dillon? No, I like that better. Is Matt Dillon? I was thinking Tarantino too, so I don't know. Five. Go Matt Balls. Dillon. Three. Okay. Matt Dillon, Matt Chloe, Dillon Grace Chloe Grace Moretz. Moretz. Boom, what they said. Titus. John Cusack. God damn it. Oh, oh really? Damn. Oh, oh, we we oh. should go with Cusack. I forgot he said Cusack. Damn. I was it. like, did Titus just pull Chloe Moretz and John Cusack? I go, what? A, what? <laughs> God damn it. That's all right. That'll happen to you in this game. Uh, here we go. Uh, other side. One to one. One to one. Super early. Two celebs. Oh. Dude. Boy. <laughs> I think that's. I think that's. Um, the chick that Aaron was dating, that Rogers was dating, Shailene Woodley, and is that Dennis Quaid? That's a that's a Quaid neck right there. You see those ridges? I think it's Dennis Quaid. Yeah. I don't. Know. That's that's. I, I Who think. are we saying in the middle is? I, is that is that a fit? Is that a fit? Dennis Quaid would pop off on. Bro? You don't think that's like Mel Gibson or something? I think it's Quaid. Who's the middle? Uh, Shailene Woodley. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, go Quaid. Four. Okay, Dennis Quaid. Quaid Woodley. Quaid Woodley. That is correct. Two to one, Uptown Balls early. NFL next category, NFL. Taken in the fourth round out of Syracuse, this Buccaneers wide receiver began his career with three 600-plus yard uh, seasons from 2010 through 2012. 35 seconds for Smockin. You're one of the Mike Williams? That's what I was thinking, too. I don't know if he was Syracuse. Though. There were a few. There, there were a few. Yeah, I think there was. Out of Syracuse. This is like right where they got B Jacks, but I don't know who was there. Who would even be there other than Mike Williams? That, Mike Williams. That's who we yeah, like. I think so. All right, we'll just we'll go Mike Williams. Final answer. Yeah, two points. That's correct. Two to two. There we go. Other side to make it three to two. Taken in the fourth round out of Clemson, the Steelers wide receiver began his career with three 500 plus yard seasons from 2014 through 2017 for Smokin to make it three to two. That, no, not for us, not for us, right? For us, it's for us. I mean, for uptown ball. Excuse me. Excuse me. Is that Martavis Bryant? That's what I was thinking, but isn't he still like on the team? I well, it just know. began the career. That's not a stipulation. Martavis Bryant, a 10 year Steeler vet. He was, I did a lot of scouting for that 2014 draft class. That was my Google Doc here. <laughs> and I know the name Martavis Bryant, and I feel like I would not. Let's, let's go, Martavis Bryant. But I don't know if, I mean, he was in that draft. Was that, was that, was that the same year as Sammy Watkins, 2014? Yes. If he was Five. in that draft class, go Martavis, Martavis Bryant. 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 Martavis Bryant, Bryant. Three Martavis. to two. Is he still, why am I thinking he's still on the Steelers? Has he been on the Steelers for 10 years? He's not possible. He just signed to the Cowboys like last off. Yeah, I don't, he wasn't I don't he kicked out of the league for a few years? Else. He was. He was a pot guy. Yeah, he was. He was banned for a little while. Um, all right, music next category. Anyone want to double music? Um, Ken Jack, yes. No, no we'll, we'll stick college basketball. I like that one. I like that. Okay, here we go. Music. This is for Smokin'. Title, the 2017 song, title, title. Here it is. Drops to Jupiter. Final answer. Would have been amazing. Yeah, so Drops to Jupiter was like 2002, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a callback from our last match. Uh, it's a great song. Wait, great did you actually play Drops to Jupiter? I haven't I heard hear anything. anything. Yeah, nothing. No, never heard anything either. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, we haven't we haven't heard anything yet. Oh, yeah. Kenjek reacting. I thought he was reacting to the song. All right, here it is. No, no, oh, no, no. I just said no. it as a callback. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, here it is. I know who sings it. I couldn't. What's the song though? Mm -hmm. the title. <laughs> Play, it, play it one more time, Joe? Yeah, play it. Oh, yeah, I can play three more times. Slip, slip, word upon 
Who sings it? It's uh, Imagine Dragons. Imagine Dragons. Right, that has to be Imagine Dragons. I just have no idea what the song yeah. would be. Can hear it two more times. You have ten seconds. I'm just have out of here. Thank you. Appreciate it. Five. You hear it again? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play it again. Play it again. Five. Like four. One more play, two. Three. One more play. One more play, Jeff. One more play. One more play. We want to do one more. Slip, slip, word upon your lip. lip red of it, you rip, rip. Break me down and build me up. Uh, yeah, no answer. We're going no answer. We don't want to help them. No answer. Go guess. Uh, I think. Other side. I think it's whatever it takes. Is that whatever it takes? Yeah, that's right. I feel like that's like a Stanley yeah. Cup song. Glennie, you're. And then you oh elevator it sounds like, it sounds like, it sounds like... <laughs> hey I caught that elevator elevator balls agreed whatever it takes final answer that is correct whatever it takes by Imagine Dragons right. to make it five to two 2015 song. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, you're dead frozen while you're sitting. I know. I I don't need I don't need ten dollar bills to have fun tonight. Roxy, baby, baby, I don't need one dollar bills to have fun tonight. If you need somebody, you play it again, Jeff. Now that balls is at the elevator. I can. I can. <laughs> Tonight, I have no idea what the name of that song is. I mean, fun, fun tonight would be the guess if that's right. If the lyrics are right, that'd be wild. I think like it would just tonight. be fun tonight. Yeah, five. Go fun just tonight. fun tonight. Fun tonight. Final answer. Uh, that's cheap thrills, right? Ooh. I love cheap thrills. Da, 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 I love cheap thrills. Da, da, da. I'm pretty sure it's. Do you guys have a better answer? I, that's a song I've heard like a trillion times. I couldn't tell you the title of. I I'm pretty like sure it's. I, I'm. I'm pretty sure what she says is "Cheap Thrills." I'm like 80 percent sure that's the okay. title, but I know she says "Cheap Thrills" as the next lyric. I love "Cheap Thrills." I'm down with that. Minty. All right, let's go "Cheap Thrills." Final answer. They get one back. That's correct. Four to three. Good job, well Titus. Done, Titus. By the way, while we're here, can I just one second to shout out to Weston, uh, the Weston Buckhead. <laughs> Um, housekeeping crew. I ordered Taco Bell the other night and then I left it on the table and it was mostly garbage, but they took the garbage out of the bag and just left the bag of sauces so they didn't throw out the sauces. That's respect. Four to three. A steal in music for both teams. Round five, chain restaurants. This is for Smokin. With varieties like Italian and Philly cheesesteak, Papa John's juice is a line of sandwich-like items made with pizza crusts in 2020. Are they called like, it's like a Papa something. You know what I mean? Like his name is involved in the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Italian and Philly cheese take Papa John's introduced this line of sandwich like items made with pizza crust. Um, Fuck. I remember like making fun of it. Yeah. I remember the. I, I don't. I, uh, it's like Papa Amwich or something. I almost said the answer to Jeff's question for them, which is probably. <laughs> The next question he's going to ask. Um, uh, we have no answer. We're not going to help him. No answer. No answer. Papadia. Papadia. Final answer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Five to three. <laughs> Bless the balls. You're depressed. You knew that. I see that, Glenny. <laughs> what? You're pissed you knew that. Isn't you fucking cracking up? I, there are... I know. It's just funny that it literally wasn't even in. I just answered and immediately just saw Papadia. <laughs> there, there are... S- this league, every now and then, you'll have a question that you're like, how did how did this happen before somebody just said something? But here we go for Uptown Balls. Now a full-time item in 2020, Taco Bell introduces <laughs> burrito that has a layer of three cheese blend melted onto the top of the tortilla. It's gordita, right? No, 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 it's the beefy. 
beefy. Is that the grilled Wait, grilled cheese burger? I can't see the question. Can I see the question again? Okay. Oh shit! Did I just lose internet? I think it's like the it's like a grilled Gr- grilled cheese uh, burrito. Grilled cheese burrito, but I don't know. If there's no like, cool name for it. I think it's literally just a grilled cheese burrito. Taco Bell introduced this burrito. It's melted on top of the tortilla, so the gordita still could be that because there's still gonna be beef. No, it's not that. It's called it's called a grill or beefy grilled cheese burrito. Grilled cheese burrito. I think it's just a grilled cheese burrito. Just go grilled cheese burrito. Grilled cheese burrito. Final answer. All right, six to three. Damn. Damn Movies next category. Interesting. Any interest in doubling anybody? No, I did not get one the other night. No double. Okay, for Smokin to make it six to four. Caitlin Deaver and Bainey Feldstein starred in this absurdist 2019 com- coming-of-age comedy about high school graduates from Olivia Wilde. I think it's Booksmart. Booksmart? Pretty pretty, pretty sure it's Olivia Wilde. All right, yeah. final answer. Yeah. Six to four, that's correct. Booksmart. Other side to make it seven to four. Simon Pegg and Nick Frost starred in this 2013 oh, disaster then. apocalypse <laughs> comedy about friends on a pub crawl from then Edgar Wright. Fuck you know that, Glenny. You had Gary right King. Man? World's end. World's end. World's end. Get, get balls those points for MVP. The world's end. I got it on fucking Blu-ray right there. Final answer. That is a big Glenny Balls well, first half. Seven there. to four. Showdown bonus round time. A new wrinkle tonight in this bonus round. Presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. Time to make the donuts. All right. Pens and paper. Our closest guest battle. Uh, we... Are going to give this a whirl. Not going to happen in the tournament, but you know, we figured this is this could be fun here. We're doing this in All Star Week, but we're going to debut it now. Everybody will be answering every question. Your Whoa. team's average will be your answer. Whoa. Sounds your like team's average will be your I answer. I like that. Oh, boy. I actually really like that. Let's do this. <laughs> here we go. Smitty's perk it up. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, because of that, <laughs> because of that, where it it will be first to five instead of first to three. What happens if you get a perfect guess? Uh, if if the average is perfect, it's it's dead on. Oh, average yeah. has to be okay. That'll be entertaining. Here we go. Here we go. First to five. First to five. First question. First question. Uh, Smokin will reveal first. Then Uptown Balls will reveal. The average of your three answers will be your answer. Who's ever closer to the correct answer wins the bonus round. No higher or lower. No price is right rules. Uh, so he wins a point, and once the first team gets to five points, that team wins the bonus round, wins two points. Either going to be seven to six or nine to four. First one. First one. The year ESPN debuted around the horn. Um, huh. Just talking about this in the office yesterday. Uh, the year ESPN debuted around the horn. We'll go Titus, Ken, Jack, Mincy, Smitty, Balls, Tommy. All right. Smokin, your turn to reveal. Titus. 2002. 2002. Ken, Jack. 1999. 1999. Mincy. 1998. 1998. Smitty. 2000. 2000. Uh, Balls. 98. 98. Tommy. I way off. I had 07. 2007. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the bell curve has uh, been busted. No, I think I'll do it. Smokin, your average was 1999.67. Balls, your average was 2001.667. Oh, the correct answer is 2002. It's one to nothing. Right, Tommy. Tommy. Tommy, Tommy overshooting it helped like out. Tommy. Jesus. I got uh, here we go. What was the correct answer? Here we go. 2002. 2002. Oh, all right. Yeah. You guys, well. were, you guys were almost dead on. I was dead on, Jeff. I was dead on. You were dead on. <laughs> Titus was dead on. I was writing 2002, but then I mixed them up. What was – I was thinking the other show. What's the one with Kornheiser Mark, and Michael Wilmot? PTI. PTI. Yeah, and then I thought, oh, I feel like around the world it's got to be 90s when I thought it went around Yeah, that's what happened to me too. Uh, total playoff games played by the Houston Texans. I think they debuted like at the same time. Total Houston Texans playoff games. Nothing to do with the Warriors, correct? Total games, not one. With the, Houston. Well, it's the, okay. I, I, I can't. I actually. I can't answer that. No, Smitty. Uh. Uh. Total one to one to nothing. Early, early. Uh, 
Smokin reveals first in five, four, three, two, one. Titus reveal. I'm going with nine. Switch nine. Ken Jack. With seven. Seven. Mincy. Ten. 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 All right. Smitty. Seven. Tommy. Seven. Glenny. Four. Four. The correct answer. 8.667 for Smokin. Six for Uptown Balls. The correct answer is 12. It's tied up one to one. Let's go. Wow. They played 12 playoff games. (laughs) Uh, Next up. Rotten Tomatoes critic score for the 2014 film Draft Day. Rotten Tomatoes critic score for the 2014 film Draft Day. 100. Next one's dumb. Next question's dumb. All right, here we go. Titus, reveal in three, two, one. It's one to one right now. 42. 42. Ken Jack, reveal. 41. 41 from Ken Jack. I did Mincy. Six, 69. Nice. 69. Nice, Mincy. <laughs> nice, Mincy. Hell yeah. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Smitty. Balls. I went with the 63. 63 from Glenny. 26. 26 from Tommy. 50.667, the average for Smokin. 41, the average for Balls. The correct answer is 60. It's 2 to 1 Smokin. What? What? Good movie, Paul. Show some fucking respect. (laughs) Uh, Next question. Total unique murder scenarios in a standard game of Clue. Total unique murder scenarios uh, in a standard. This could be. This could be crazy. I've never played Clue, so I don't know what like what what to put here. Yeah, I'm kind of lost too. <laughs> oh God, uh, I played it. I was young. Um, hey. This fucking Weston Penn is trash. <laughs> it's a mixed bag. Weston from what I can hear from Gwenny Balls. Um. Titus, reveal first in five, four, three, two, one. What's your first guess? 250. 250. Ken Jack. 250. 250. Oh. Mincy. We, we got a problem, boys. <laughs> Maybe not, Mincy. Maybe not. 27. Oh, okay. We have a problem. We have a problem. <laughs> we might have a problem. We have we'll see. Problem. We'll see. We'll see. Hold on. Yeah. We might have we'll a see. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We don't know yet. Uh, 120. 120. Tommy. 216. We're 216. fucking boys. We're fucking big 20. Time. 1,500. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the way you guys were talking, it's like one of those things where it's like infinite combinations. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the correct uh, – so 175 is the average for Smokin. 612 was the average for Uptown Balls. The correct answer is 324. It's 3 to 1 Smokin. Right. Oh, I just went a little lower. Yeah, if you went a little lo- – actually, if you went a little lower, it wouldn't have been that off. A lot of candlesticks in the Balls household. <laughs> got away with one there for sure. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Next up. Next up. Uh, where is it? Career regular season walks by Barry Bonds. Oh my Career god. regular season walks by Barry Bonds. Oh my Bonds. god, Jeff. Jeff. What? Why? I, I couldn't even. Why did, I, but did you used to know this stat? No, it's just, it's too much math. Now I'm going to, because I'm thinking like, <laughs> how many times per game was he walked? Times 162 <laughs> fucking. <laughs> um. This Weston Penn is horrendous. <laughs> Glenny with pen issues. Three to one. Three to one right now. First to five. First to five. Smokin trying to make it seven to six. I don't even know what's a reasonable guess on this one. <laughs> That's this my is problem. crazy. <laughs> Titus reveal first in five, four, three, two, one. Reveal. I did eight eighty four. 884. Ken Jack. I had 1,200. 1,200. Oh, Mincy. 
2143. 2143, a big array of numbers. I have no idea who's going to be the closest between Smitty. Uh, 2750. 2750. Star, I think we were loaded. Yeah, Tommy. Probably. We got Tommy. 2400. 2400. 2400. Glenny. I think I did math wrong, but I put 6,000. 6,000. <laughs> oh, <000. laughs> oh, oh, Oh no! Oh no! It might have helped us Average guess from Smokin, fourteen hundred and nine. Average guess from Balls, thirty seven hundred sixteen. <laughs> Smokin, somebody is off by one thousand one hundred and forty nine. Somebody's off by one thousand one hundred and fifty nine. <laughs> Difference of ten. The correct answer is. 2,558 smocking. It's up 4 to oh, 1. Man. Sorry, that was a total bad oh, call. So if Glenny would have said like 5,600, they would have won. If, if Glenny would have said 5,989, you would have got it. They would have got it. A difference of 10. 4 to 1. 4 to 1. Any win here wins it for smocking. You get 300 walks a year? Yeah, that's what that was. That's, that's, that's crazy. It was 20 years and 300 walks. Combined <laughs> episodes of the Golden Girls and the Gilmore Girls. Combined episodes of the Golden Girls and Gilmore Girls. Combined episodes. Uh, um. Four to one, smocking with the lead. You'll have multiple chances to win the bonus round, make it seven to six. Combined episodes of Golden Girls and Gilmore Girls. Titus revealing three, two, one. 224. 224, Ken Jack. 200. 200, Mincy. 253. 253, they're all kind of in the same ballpark. Smitty. 350? 350, Tommy. 240. 240, Glenny. 2,000, no, 3, 330. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Smocking, your average is 225. Balls, your average is 306. The correct answer is 333. Glenny off by nice. three. Balls oh. makes it four to two. Shout out Lagori and Lorelei. Uh, next, next up. And Estelle Getty, Balls, and Estelle Getty. <laughs> Next up, combined age of Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. Combined age of Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. Not as much math on this one. Combined age of Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. It's got to be... Four to two. Titus reveal first in five... Four, three, two, one. Eighty-four. Eighty-four. Ken Jack. Eighty-six. Eighty-six. Mincy. Ninety. Ninety. Smitty. Eighty-five. Eighty-five. Tommy. Eighty-nine. Eighty-nine. Glenny. Eighty-one. Eighty-one. Smocking, your average is eighty-six. Balls, your average is eighty-five. The correct answer is 84. It's four to three. Here we go. Titus. <laughs> Titus has gotten two dead on. Two um, dead on. And the two on. times I got a dead on, Jeff, we didn't we didn't even get the point as a team. Four to three. Four to three. Next question. Next question. God damn it. The year Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone. The year Alexander Graham. Marconi did it first, but. What? Marconi did it first. <laughs> the year, the year, there's no radio oh, shit, Ken Jack. <laughs> I thought it was Antonio Meucci, like they said, Sopranos. There we go, Mincy. Mincy did not do Sopranos niche night. Did not want to have it stolen by Glennie by chance. Alexander Graham Bell. Hmm. Alexander Graham Bell. I'm going to put in air quotes, Ken Jack. Invented the telephone. <laughs> uh, Titus no, reveal in five, four. Three, two, one, reveal. 1883. 1883, Ken Jack. 1881. 1881, Mincy. 1873. 1873. Smitty. 1890. 1890. 1879. 1879. Sorry. Wait, wait, wait. 1879. I said it wrong. Okay, okay, okay. It's written down. That's why we have you write it. That's why we have you write it. 
<laughs> Glenny. I may have fucked this one up again, boys. <laughs> 2004. 18, 1830, 1831. Oh, my God. Tommy. 1896. 1896. They didn't have cell phones in the Civil War, balls. <laughs> <laughs> 1879, 1831, 1896. When Lincoln got assassinated, could they call? Let people know. Smokin, your your average is 1879. You're never going to believe this, Mom. (laughs) Smokin, your average is 1879. Balls, your average is 1868. The correct answer is 1867. We're tied up. Oh my god. god! Oh my god! Maybe Lincoln's assassination is what inspired them to make the telephone. <laughs> yeah. We All right, last one. Last one. This. this is it. This is it. Oh, oh my god! Total, total Big Four sports finals appearances from Florida franchises since the year 2000. NHL, MLB, NBA, NFL. Total times Florida franchises have been to the finals of their respective leagues. Since 2000, not just win, just in it, win or lose. Can, can you give us a second on this one? Yeah, I'll give you a second. I'll give, yeah, I'll let, you, I'll let you cook some math up. Four to four. Uh, <laughs> the ball's under guess. Saved him there. All right, Titus reveal first in. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoever gets it wins. Titus. Fifteen. Fifteen. Ken Jack. Twelve. 12. Mincy. 16. 16. Smitty. 20. 20. Tommy. 15. 15. Glenny. 14. 14. Smokin's average is 14. Ball's average is 16. The correct answer is 20. Uptown Balls comes back and wins. Let's show your work, boys. Let's show your work. People forget about the heat. Nine to four. Nine Why to four. Really when I count hats. All I lifelines I remain. All lifelines remain for balls. Good comeback, fellas. Double up and, and double sip available for Smokin. College to the NBA is the next category. I assume this is a double. Yeah, we'll double that. Double it up. Double it up. Here it is. Here it is. You're going to see a starting five with two college logos revealed. This This is a starting five from a playoff game one. A playoff game one from this year. You're going to see positions. Yep, positions. Play this year's playoff game one. You'll see positions, and two of the players have their colleges revealed. Tell me the team. This is for Smokin. For two points. Uh, Kentucky guard, Arizona guard. That's uh, that's the Thunder. That's uh, Lou Dort and Shea Gilgis Alexander. Yes. Lou Lou Dort at Arizona State and Shea at. Kentucky, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, Oklahoma City Thunder, final answer. Ripped it. That's great. It's nine to six. They get two there. Other side, very similar. phone a friend if we need a voice. You do have all your lifelines. The positions we want, by the way, were a hybrid of what official box scores had and also reference because some players have multiple positions. Could that be uh, Den- uh, Denver Nuggets, Aaron Gordon and Jamal Murray? Aaron Gordon? Can you hear me? Who was Kentucky? Denver right? Nuggets. Denver Nuggets. Denver Nuggets. Can the you hear me? Up, we, 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 nuggets, yeah, got, yeah. nuggets. Nuggets. Final Aaron Gordon, Jamal Murray. Nuggets. nuggets final that is correct. Yeah, 10 to 6. Geography next category. Geography. This is for Smokin. After Los Angeles and Las Vegas, what is the most populated U.S. city beginning with the letter L that resides West Mississippi. Um, okay. Titus, the one you answered last time may work here again. Uh, what did we do last time? Uh, what Do you want me to say it? Yeah, we might as well. Now, remember, we were debating. Lincoln was one of the ones we That's were debating right. last time. Okay. Yeah, and it was right. Okay. You went with it because I remember I had an argument for a different one that I'm not going to say. Yeah. but you were right. So do we do we want to double dip, or you have it? You can use if you want. Or do you think we? I think we double dip. Don't this is a good one to double dip on? Don't you think? Or yeah. Okay. We have a second one in mind. Fine. I have a second guess. It's west of the Mississippi. Oh, then yeah, perfect. Okay, if we well, need it, Jeff. We're going to yeah. use our double dip. Double step presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. First guess. Uh, Lincoln, Nebraska, final answer. 
Ten seconds. Okay. My my Little Rock, Arkansas. No, that's not that's not west. Yeah, it is. What the west of your river runs through Memphis. Little Rock's the west of it. Is it? it yeah. Can't be mean, Little Rock. Is, is it? Little Rock's not bigger than okay. Lincoln. Yeah, that's true too, though, because remember that's what happened last time. But that was my other guess. Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. The answer in five. Uh, some other California four, one. Texas three. Two. L- Lubbock, one. Texas. Final answer. Is Fuck. Lafayette? Oh. Should, we go, should we go Little Rock? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Let, little Rock's the answer. Let's go Little Rock. I, I was, the only thing I had in my brain was Laramie, Wyoming, which definitely is not it. So let's go Little Rock. Me and Balls once got a beautiful breakfast together That's in Little Rock. We did. Five. All right. Little Rock, final answer. Long Beach, California. Fucking, I oh, thought had to be a California one. God damn it. Long Beach, California. Other side to make it 11 to 6. After Tucson and Tulsa, what is the most populated U.S. city beginning with the letter T that resides west Mississippi? First thing that came to mind was Tempe, Tempe, Arizona, but I don't know if that's that big. Is Tahoe a city? No. Late, late Tahoe. Right. There's no just Tahoe? It's a place. I don't think so. Tallahassee's east. Correct. Temecula, maybe? Temecula. It's in California. Uh, I don't think Tempe. I mean, there's ASU's there. Yeah. Like, do, do, we, do we even have something to double Five. Forward? I got Four, nothing else. I don't three. Know. Uh, Tempe, Arizona. Uh, Tacoma, Washington comes to mind. I had Tacoma and Telluride. Is Telluride no, it's not big, not big enough. I, I thought Topeka, Kansas can't be big enough either. Tacoma's got to be better. I like Tacoma. Do we like Tacoma? Yeah, Tacoma. let's go Tacoma, Washington, Jeff. Final answer. Ten to seven. They oh, get one pull, back. Nice pull time. Let's go. Well done. They get one back. Here we go. This is for Tacoma and Telluride, both uh, cars, right? Those are both. <laughs> I think that is right. I think that's true. Yeah. Uh, this is for Smock, and it's Major League Baseball. Do you want to double up town balls? Yes. So they always, yes. They always, double, always baseball, double baseball, except when they don't. Always. Here we go to make it 10 to 8. This second base began his career with St. Louis from 2013 through 2020, where he won two gold gloves for leaving from Milwaukee for one point. I should know this. No lifelines available for Smokin. I should know this. I should know this. I should know this. Fuck. Is it like Matt something? Five, four, three, two. I don't know. I think it's it Colton Wong. Colton Wong. Colton Wong. Colton Wong. I think it is. Is that what you said? Colton yeah, Wong. Colton Wong. Yeah. yeah, that's that is who it is. Colton Wong. Eleven to seven, four point lead for a six point lead. Here we go. Acquired from Milwaukee, this starting a shortstop started for Kansas City uh, from 2011 through 2018, where he made an All Star team and won a Gold Glove. I'll see you, Escobar. Balls well, get your points. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Yeah. I'm, I keep fucking freezing. No, that that is the yeah. I see these Escobar. Finally, that is correct. Thirteen seven, running away with it a little bit now. Next up is the niche category round presented by Body Armor. Shout out to Body Armor, the delicious Get taste it. of Body Armor. Uh, Indiana, Mister Basketball for Smock. Oh, that's us. Thirteen to nine. Thirteen. To nine. In 2023, this player out of Center Grove and the winner of the award in 2019 became the first Indiana Mr. Basketball drafted since 2019. Oh, that's got to be – yeah, that's, that's Trace Jackson Davis, final answer. That is correct, 13-9. to nine. Nice. Titus still has never missed in that category. Uh, Titus teased – I won't say a teased a future niche, that is. I'm fired up about it, Jeff. 
Very it's rock solid. It's rock solid. solid. I'm gonna, Very by the way, good. I'm gonna get all of them wrong, but I love the idea of it in my niche category. <laughs> but that's one of those where you could you could say something, be like, yeah, that makes sense as well. Or you yeah, can really yeah, yeah. I'll get it wrong, and I'll be like, that was my other guess for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, for the win, we will still rip the final two categories for the win if they get it. If they get it, entourage for uptown balls. Entourage for uptown balls. During the season two Playboy Mansion episode, what was the last thing? What last thing does Vince request from Ari to get him before agreeing to do the role? I literally watched this episode this week, too. Uh oh. I don't know this answer. Oh. You give you five for the first one, seven for the second, Goblin is the third. Then give you 30, 12 million. Oh, he wants um he wants um suit, suit approval. Suit approval. He wants approval on the suit. He doesn't want to look like Elton John swimming underwater. Suit approval. All right. Suit approval. That is correct. That is the win. 15 to 9. The question is, Dingo, are we in this game, gents? Nah, I feel bad. Titus gave us a really good effort in vain here. No, nah, that's all right. Glenny Balls is on watch for the most points ever scored in a match right now. That is something Ooh. worth noting. Wow. Here we go. This is for this is for smocking. TV. TV. Known for playing Dennis on It's Always Sunny. Glenn Howerton had the lead role in this NBC and uh, Peacock. AP AP Chem or AP Bio? Called? AP Bio, yeah. AP, AP Bio, Bio, final answer. Fifteen to ten, other side. Known for playing D on It's Always Sunny, Caitlin Olsen had the role, the lead role in this Fox sitcom from 2017 through 2018. Let, I don't let know. Balls in, I don't. <laughs> oh, it's okay. The mech. Final answer. 16 to 10. And then brand logos, last category. You're going to see three blank brand logos. You're going to sort them alphabetically. Sort them alphabetically. Yeah, the the left, on the left, is that Book It from Pizza Hut? <laughs> <laughs> There's like book it. What the fuck is the middle one? <laughs> what I don't know what any of these are. That's the only. That's the closest thing to an idea I have. I, I'm, I can only see one of them on my phone. Oh. <laughs> but well, that's, that's probably, what do you think about that one? Do you think the one you can see should go first or last? Uh, last. Okay. <laughs> Which one do you see? The B. Okay. So A C B. All right, ACB. This is this is a huge answer for us. It's going to make a massive difference. Uh, we'll go ACB. Final answer. I think it's CAB. I think it's Barclays think Open it. Table Tyson. So I think it's CAB. You good with that, Tommy? Uh, I've been freezing so much. I don't even know what the fuck this category is. So sure. Okay. Cat. Cat. Final answer. It's. <laughs> Glenny had an amazing match, so I can make fun of him. He got all three logos wrong. He just really? got all three. I was right. all three of those logos. What are they? It's ING post scholastic. It's CBA. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what, what the fuck is a scholastic logo? Uh, all right. For, uh, to finish 1710. Is not a fucking lion? Jesus Christ. Is that Barclays A? Dropbox is C. And that's Krispy Kreme in the middle. And we have our, we have our, we're, 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 double we're, seven minutes from vodka. Thank you. That's sponsored. Appreciate that. So what is yes. that? It's I, I, th- it, I think it's Barclays. <laughs> so then it'd be ACB. I, it's not though. It's like a, I don't know. So we know C comes before should B. We go, I mean, if we go. you want to play, play, play the number game, A probably comes after D and K, right? There's more, just more letters after D and K. So should we do first answer A- in A-C-B? five? ACB. Sure. ACB. 17 10 final score. That is Barclays, Dropbox, oh, and Chris. That is Barclays, all right. <laughs> him, him ripping the three just dead wrong killed me. I don't know <laughs> yeah, why. You can't tell me that doesn't look like Tyson either. That post looks like Tyson. Um, 17 10 final score. Oof. A lot of technical difficulties, but. Uh, Came out with an Uptown Balls win, 8-2-1 and one on the season, your best record ever. Uh, Smocking 4-4-1, four, four, and one, 500, like you, like you always like to be. Uh, will not hurt your your ranking. I'd be shocked. Uh, Uptown Balls computer ranking is very high. Uh, Smocking, uh, 
Probably one more match. Yeah. You haven't played. You haven't played the Yak yet this year. Oh, really? Yeah. Your 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 favorite team to play, Titus. Rekindle the rivalry. Yeah, love playing yeah. those guys. If if you would have turned down coming to Barstool, I think it might have been it a good been part bad. because yeah. of playing. <laughs> We're gonna have a little playing clause in my tribute. contract. It would be like something to do with playing the Yak and the Dublin. <laughs> um. No, yeah, we got our asses kicked, Jeff. Shout out to that. We, this happens uh, seemingly every time we play this team. Uh, nothing but respect for those guys. Glenny Balls is Lawrence Taylor. Uh, I will now think of, yep. of Glenny Balls as, as being Lawrence Taylor in every way, really. Um, I would love to be the domination team. from Glenny is, is unrivaled. So, what a performance. Uh, Smitty probably one more, may get an outside chance to play for number one one more time. Uh, you have not played Brandon Walker yet this year either, though. Yeah, we're going to need that. Shout out. I mean, Balls and Tommy, great matches. Balls, Lawrence Taylor, just without any arrests. <laughs> yeah, Jeff, what day is the um, playoffs again? Uh, 16th through the 20th. Look, the Balls, Jeff. Smock oh, is yeah. a great team. Oh, we didn't even use our we didn't even, we didn't use The our top eight teams. Card. Like, the Balls are ready. The top to eight the teams are going to be – very difficult in this turn. It is going to be a shit show in Chicago. I have no idea who's going to win this year. None. Uh, I, th- I felt like there were four or five who could legitimately win last year, just the way they were playing going in. This year, I think it's a, it is an absolute clusterfuck. I cannot wait. Uh, it is going to be happening in June, 16th through 20th. There's, re- it sounds like a long way away. There's only like four weeks left of regular season of five, um, so not many matches to go. Uh, All star voting still open. Um, and then award season voting opens after that. Can Lenny Balls, can he, uh, can he take the first MVP? Give him his MVP. From I Kirk. MVP. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. It. That's it. Thank you for watching. Yeah, Thanks to you, Anthony Vodka. Thank you to Body Armor. Thank you to Stella Blue. We'll talk to you on Tuesday.